climate change poses not only a medium and long-term threat, but it actually makes all the other threats worse. Uh, when you start seeing major shifts in climate, uh, that translates into drought, floods, refugees, people who are displaced. President Obama on CBS This Morning late last week talking about climate change. You heard what he had to say about the challenges that will confront every country. Now, our president insists that climate change poses as one of our greatest national security threats and presents problems to the entire world. To talk about the truth on climate change, we're pleased to be joined now by a professor at the School of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at Georgia Tech, Judith Curry, who is Skyping in from Atlanta. Judith, it's great to have you here on Newsmax Prime. Well, thanks for inviting me. Does the science back up what the president has to say about climate change? Well, President Obama seems to be confusing weather with climate and natural climate variability with human-caused climate variability. And the big issue is that we don't know how much of the recent climate change um, is caused by humans versus natural causes, and that hasn't really been sorted out. Well, In any event, yeah, I was just going to say, regardless of, of the source, is the threat that he claims climate change poses really as dire as he depicts? Well, no. Um, it's really extreme weather events that are the problems, you know, the floods, the droughts, the hurricanes, and so on. And there's no particular evidence that those are getting worse. Um, certainly in the U.S., if you look back to the 1930s and the 1950s, extreme weather was much worse. We call the, the Dust Bowl era. Um, so, you know, the weather has always changed, climate has always changed, and, you know, we need to reduce our vulnerability to those kind of extreme weather events. Judith, um, let me ask you about the climate, uh, so to speak, in the academic community. Have you faced uh, some criticism from colleagues and peers for uh, your stance on so-called climate change? Yes, there's this idea that climate scientists have to present this monolithic front to the world, you know, that we all agree on everything and that, you know, this is a simple problem with a simple solution. Well... The issue is that we have vastly oversimplified both the problem and the solution. A lot we don't understand. There's a lot of disagreement. And there's a lot of things we just flat out don't understand. Well, Judith, uh, you faced problems in terms of the scientific community and academia. Uh, people have joked that political science is the ultimate oxymoron. But in the realm of politics, the president has called out Republican lawmakers for failing to take climate change seriously. Let's take a listen to what the president's had to say. Uh, they are unique among uh, political parties around the world, uh, including conservative parties, in not taking climate change seriously. Uh, they're also uh, divergent from former Republican officials who are now part of the bipartisan coalition here in the United States who says it has to, uh, it, it has to be dealt with. Uh, so what about that? The president seems to me to be equating Republicans with know-nothings because of their skepticism. Your take on what he had to say right there. Well, there's political disagreement about energy policy and how to reduce vulnerability to uh, weather and climate variability. I mean, these are there's different values in play and there's lots of political disagreement. And this shouldn't be surprising President Obama has on his you know, the website call out the climate deniers and is chastising his opponents as deniers. And that doesn't help anything. It only serves to polarize the debate even further. Judith Curry, checking in from Georgia Tech. We thank you very much for your time and your insights on sound science as opposed to the skeptical political science surrounding so-called climate change. Thanks very much. Well, you heard what Judith had to say. Uh, what's your take on it? We'd like to take your temperature, so to speak, if you send us your comments. And you can send your comments to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments.